Hare Krishna. So we'll be talking on the verses 8, 8th chapter, verse number 23 till 27 today. And this is about the two, uh, the two ways of leaving our body. So Lord Krishna is saying that there are two ways that the yogis can leave their body. One is in the light. Agnir Jyotir Aha Shukla Sanmasa Uttarayanam Tatra Prayata Gachanti Brahma Brahma Vidodana. And the, se the second one is Dhumo Ratri Sadha Krishna Sanmasa Dakshinayanam Tatra Chandrama Samjotir Yogir Prapya Nivartate. So one path is in the light, that is during the daytime, during uh, when the sun is shining bright, and during the six months that the sun is in the northern, he northern hemisphere. It's called Uttarayan. That's basically from the end of December till uh, June or July. And then there is six months which the sun is uh, shifting towards the south. That is the next six months. So those transcendentalists who are preparing to go back to Godhead <clears throat> or who are preparing to stop the cycle of birth and death, they are prescribed to leave their body with, uh, by yoga. By practice of yoga, one can determine when he leaves his body. So if a yogi is that perfect, then Lord Krishna is saying that the six months of the Uttarayan, which the sun is traveling to in the north, that is the preferred time for a yogi to leave his body. And preferably during the daytime, that is during the time when the sun is up. Because the yogis, through the sun rays, they travel and then they can go to any planet they desire. Or they can even uh, get freedom from birth and death. So those who leave their body in this, in these six months, speci especially during the daytime, uh, and uh, Krishna Paksha, Agnir Jyoti Raha Shukla Sanmasa Uttarayanam. Uh, yeah, so that means in the daytime. So they never, they don't return back to this material world. But there's a condition, Brahma Brahma Vidojana. Only those who have realized the absolute truth, the Supreme Brahman, only they when they pass in this time, they get a passage to uh, beyond the birth and death. And the yogis who fail to do so, or who pass in the six months when the sun is in the south hemisphere, or who pass away during the night time, so they get the moon planet, they get to enjoy the heavenly planets, the moon, but they have to ultimately return back to this earthly planet and again try for perfection. And it's very interesting that the next verse, that is the 26th verse, Lord Krishna, 26th or maybe the 27th verse, Lord Krishna is saying that Naiti Shriti Partha Janan Yogi Muyati Kaschana. That the yogis, even though they know both of these paths, that they are not bewildered by it. So Lord Krishna is specifically mentioning here for the pure devotees that uh, the pure devotees don't um, worry about these two paths. Rather, they, Tasmat Sarveshu Kaleshu Maam. Uh, Naiti Shruti Partha Janan Yogi Muhyati Kaschana Tasmat Sarveshu Kaleshu Yoga Yukta Bhavarjuna So always be uh, engaged in yoga that is meditation upon me always think of me and don't worry whether you go in the six months of the northern hemisphere or the southern hemisphere in the case of his pure devotees Lord Krishna directly takes care of them and awards them uh, his personal abode or if Lord Krishna desires then sends them to the next uh, next place where it is required, where Lord Krishna is uh, taking his birth and performing his pastimes to deliver all the conditioned souls. So these are uh, all. So in this way, a pure devotee is not really concerned whether he's uh, going back to God or not. Rather, he's always dependent on Krishna, and he, he's ready to accept whatever Lord Krishna wants from him or wants for him. If Lord Krishna wants to transfer him to the spiritual world and accept service from him there, he's happy. And if Lord Krishna wants him to go and help in the preaching mission in another planet, in another universe, so be it, he's happy. But he, he simply wants to serve Krishna and that's his happiness. He finds happiness in serving Lord Krishna. Hare Krishna.